Hello and welcome back in this very very special video because this is um, I'm not gonna call it like the real engine but I received an amazing requested video by Mr. Atomic Nerd so he requested the legendary famous Ford Model T engine well uh, I told him in, in my first reply to his uh, comment or to his request there is no flat head configuration in automation only overhead cam which means uh, overhead overhead valve sorry which means push rod direct acting overhead cam and dual overhead cam these are all the only options in automation he told me to use the uh, push rods or as we will call them overhead valve which is the oldest technology so far in automation and i wish that maybe the, the developers someday uh, if they can put the flathead technology here because I'm really, I really, really enjoy seeing those flatheads, you know, on these old classic engines, flat V8, yes, inline V, inline eight, and uh, all the really old world classic engines. I mean, they are impressive, but this one, as you can see, it's not really like the model, the model T inline four engine, but I tried really, really hard. To get as as close as possible because I find I found some of the specs on on, uh, on Wikipedia and I tried them and I put them on on this engine, but making making 20 horsepower only is was a real real challenge because I you, can, you, you will find this amusing. I was trying really hard to kill power in this engine. Usually, usually in any engine I do an automation here. I will try really hard to make as much as possible, uh, as much horsepower and torque as possible. But here, I was trying so hard to kill as much horsepower and torque as possible. So let's let's go in and see what what I did. It's an inline four engine, cast iron block, as you can see, 95.2 millimeters on the bore, 101.6 millimeter on the stroke, which equals 2,893 cc, or you can say 2.9 engine. 2.9 liter in line 4 like the wheel engine uh, as you can see also we have another problem the the earliest year that you you can start here in automation game is only 1946 you cannot go any lower look i'm pressing the button here here nothing you can only go more than one uh, 19, 1946 but below 1946 no it's not not possible at all let's continue push rods two valves cast iron head uh, cast iron crankshaft, cast everything. If, you, if yes, as you can see, zero quality on the on the internals. No need to go lower because going lower will not affect horsepower. It will only affect the RPM and the durability. Moving on, the compression ratio is the lowest here, which is 6.0 to 1. I'm not really sure about the Model T compression ratio. The cam profile is zero all the way down. Uh, plus minus minus 15 I've never never actually did a minus 15 engine this is my first one uh, moving on naturally aspirated single single barrel eco carburetor because choosing a normal single barrel or an eco one I mean yes the eco will make a little bit more torque and it will get a better fuel efficiency so horsepower and torque will horsepower sorry alone will not will not be affected single carburetor that's how that, that's what it that's what the model to use but the difference between the, the difference between this carburetor and the original uh, model t carburetor was the original one it was a single venturi but no acceleration pump in it it, it was it was it was a really really old school also the distributor uh, I, I'm, I'm not really sure about no i think the model t did not use a distributor it used a magneto on the flywheel as I as I found out in Wikipedia before I make this uh, before I made this video, single carburetor, standard intake. Yes, this is the lowest quality or the lowest octane uh, for the leaded fuel because this is low quality. Let me choose it for you. Yes, I know the engine is locking, but I chose it so I can make you read. This is the low quality fuel. It's le it's unleaded, as you can see, low quality unleaded. So the, no, the the Model T worked on leaded fuel, and actually it doesn't. It didn't really work on fuel. It used to it, it used to it used to run on benzene and kerosene, and I, I'm not really sure. There, there is a third. There is a third. Yes, there's a third uh, 
I'm, I fell fuel, I forgot really, benzene and kerosene and something else that uh, the Model 3 used to work on. So, I'm, so benzene is really close to regular lead, leaded fuel. Maybe maybe chemi chemicals, maybe ke maybe or, or chemistry engineers or chemistry people will kill me for saying that okay, benzene is really close to regular leaded, but I'm gonna say it's close. I'm gonna use it 92 because this is a leaded as you can see, developed in the 1920s as you can see. So it's it's period correct. Uh, let's see what else. Minus not minus, all the way to the lean to mixture 15 air fuel ratio zero ignition timing i'm not really sure how the engine is working with zero timing but it's still working um, 2000 rpm limit yes this is the correct rpm limit 2000 rpm minus 15 on the quality for the fuel system cast log headers which is like the real one and yes it's the lowest and it's the tiniest tiniest exhaust diameter ever half an inch or 12.7 millimeters can you imagine half an inch? Let me show you how does half an inch look. Baffled mufflers on front and rear. This is how it looks. Check this out. This is what half an inch looks like. I mean, look, look at the headers. Look at the down pipe here, and then it will go to this tiny pipe. How pathetic, as you can see. Wow. Okay, so as you can see, the the original Ford Model T. The engine put out 20 horsepower at 2000 rpm. This one did with everything to its worst 26.8 horsepower. No, you cannot go any lower than this. And 100 pound feet of torque 100 pound feet of torque because the engine is big 2.9 liter in line 4. This is a huge engine, this is not tiny at all. And uh, let's see the reliability. I mean, yes, the Model T served the humanity and served everyone for a, very, for a really, really, really long time. But 28, I'm gonna consider 28 in 19. Actually, this is wrong. This should be less, like 1920, 1915, whatever. You know, the, yes, I think 1915 would be correct. Yes, it should be. Uh, I mean, 28 points. It should be really, really reliable. But in 2018, no, this is absolute. I'm not gonna say the word. So this, as you can see, it's a little bit hideous, but it's a legendary engine. Not this one. This is, this is basically, basically trash. You should, you should grab it and throw it in the trash. But the original Model T engine was a, a, a really, really impressive thing. I mean, listen to it. The engine is spinning. The engine is spinning so so slowly and making this and it's making it's making this kind of pathetic horsepower. What what should I do here? Now you have seen the engine. I mean I I really like the Model T engine, but not this one. I mean I can't stand and keep this engine as as crappy as it is. So I'm gonna tune it to perfection. I'm gonna keep using the same parts, but the correct amount of parts. So this everything should be on on zero quality not minus 15 i can't stand looking at minus 15 i mean this is something wrong look with everything on zero quality we have 30 horsepower increasing the rpm to 2400 increase increase the, uh, the cam profile a little bit like this to 12 it will get better 35 horsepower I mean, yes, it's not really impressive, but still good. Increasing ignition timing. 40 horsepower now. This is a better, better horsepower so far. Let's see, performance. Eh, no need for it. As you can see, the engine is really, 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 really tired. As you can see, it's not really impressive in any way. Use a second carburetor. Add more ignition timing. 42 horsepower. As you can see, the internals now are dying because of the immense amount of torque. So we should. No, I'm not gonna switch to heavy duty. Maybe I'm gonna just drop the torque a little bit by increasing the camshaft profile. To, let's say to 30. No, not 30. To 25. That's perfect. 
And yes, now it's time to add more. Yes, I know, I know. I think I'm going to change the internals or put even higher quality ones. What am I doing? This is the one here. Maybe plus seven will do all the trick. A bigger exhaust diameter will do an amazing thing for the engine. Remove a first muffler, add a short cast header. As you can see, normal stuff you can do. Better camshaft, add a second carburetor to change the headers to a, from a, a stupid cast log into a short cast headers. Big exhaust, bigger exhaust pipe. Uh, I'm not, you can say aggressive camshaft, a little bit aggressive camshaft. Stiffer valves and stiffer valve springs. Um, what else? A better intake manifold, a second carburetor, a better air filter. Add, add more timing to the engine. And we will have amazing results. 82 horsepower instead of 26. And 135 pound feet of torque. And yes, you have to change the internals because I added a high quality internal circuit so they can take the immense amount of torque. Let's see how much we can make out even from this engine. Let's add more RPM. Let's see, 3700. Add a higher quality camshaft and valves and valve springs. As you can see, it, it makes more power. Now let's add more compression ratio, you know, higher compression pistons. No, I'm not gonna add more fuel. As you can see, 100 horsepower and 151 pound feet of torque. Now this, in 1946, this is a good engine. This is a really, really good engine. Or you can say 102 horsepower and 150 pound feet of torque. No, 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 keep it this way, one and a half inch. This is better. Let's see if the RPM can go even higher. 4,000 RPM now. 4,000 RPM. This is a real, real performance engine back then. Let's see, 50 and add more quality here. Higher quality fuel piston or carburetors. 106 horsepower. Now that is powerful. 110 horsepower. Now this is good at 4,000 RPM. Let's see how high we can go. 4,000, we can go to 4,800. Okay, we have valve low, float, I know that. Let's see how much we can go. No, actually, if we lose power, I think here. No, no need for higher RPM. As you can see, the engine is looking better, better than ever. Choosing a normal one, we'll add more horsepower now. 114 horsepower, come on, give me 115, yes, like this. Oh, a higher quality one. How about a plus 15? No, no, plus 15 is too much. Plus 12, okay. I can live with plus 12. I can live also with 100 on the engineer panel. Yes, give me the power. 4,700. And yes, the internals are starting to give up. So, higher quality ones are installed now. 127 horsepower. Now, this is a real impressive engine. Drop the RPM a little bit. 4,600, that's perfect. Now it's starting to sound like a real engine. Put a performance carburetors and intake manifold and listen to this. That's better. Remove the second muffler and you have 130 horsepower. Listen to that. If you are going racing, yes, now listen to this. Now that is 
just amazing. Now let's add a little bit of fuel in. No, not 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 ignition. No, ignition won't make any difference. So let's keep it on 75. Yes, uh, and a more aggressive camshaft. Yes, and more compression ratio. More aggressive camshaft. 139 horsepower. Yeah, yes, this is real horsepower. Come on, give me 140. I need 140 horsepower. Uh, let's use tubular headers or maybe race headers because we're having well, having a racing engine here so far. So this is how by far a model a model to the engine being been tuned to a racing configuration. Oh yes, 4,700 horsepower. Now that's perfect. 4,800 is the limit now. Add more fuel. 14 now is the air fuel ratio. No, it will lose horsepower. No. Look at the internals are giving up. No, I want to keep the power all the way to the max. So 143 at 4,700 RPM and the more compression ratio here and of course higher quality internals are installed 106 now on the engineering time i know that this is a tuned engine and check out the difference in looks and in performance and in power torque everything this is basically the same engine the same block but we have changed the internals into higher quality ones and an extreme aggressive camshaft and extremely racing racing valves and springs rocker and uh, what do they call them? What, what do they call them push rods yes and yes push rods and of course a racing headers here racing header and of course a racing intake manifold and racing carburetors single barrel carburetors let's see is the exhaust diameter perfect yes it's 1.8 inch is just perfect and you will have, instead of the lousy 26 horsepower, you will have 145 horsepower. And instead of the 100 pound feet of torque, now we'll have 170. All right. Listen to that. Before we finish, let me choose super leather because now we have a racing engine, so we can use higher compression. Yes, how much we can go? 8.6 to 1. And look at the internals are crying now. Plus 15 quality is needed here. Actually, you can go with plus 14. But no, we are really close. 183 pound feet of torque. These can only get to one. 40, 84 so plus 15 quality here yes now this is powerful absolutely amazing Let's see if we can add a little bit. No, no, this won't make any difference. Actually, decreasing the the ignition made me made the engine more more torquey. Hmm, that's impressive. Yes, I think we there's nothing else to do now. Yes, a little bit of compression we won't kill the engine. Yes, I think this is perfect. I mean, I was I was really looking to 160. 160, 160 horsepower, yes. But if I want to go 160, I have to push the, yes, the quality extra one. So now we have 160 horsepower, 185 pound feet of torque. Not exactly. Mm. A little bit here, and now we have 160.2 horsepower and 185 pound feet of torque. Now this is perfect. We are using all the octane, the engine is rel reliable-ish, rel reliable and the fuel economy is good-ish also. <laughs> the weight is heavy, yes it's very heavy, 
and smoothness not really responsive this is this is as good uh, as good as it will get noise extremely noisy powerful i mean can you imagine 160 horsepower at 1946 at yes from a four cylinder engine this is a racer a real racing engine it sounds like a real racing engine and it looks like a real racing engine sound absolutely brutal at, at, at idle and at high RPM. I'm really happy with it. So um, this is, you will call it the, when we started with this engine, yes it used to be a Model T-ish engine, I mean really close to it, but now check out the difference. Now this is what I call a good sporty engine, so I'm gonna call it Model T and then I'm gonna call it ish racing yes because this is how i like it super sport so i hope that you really enjoy the engine thank you so much mr atomic nerd for your cool request but i really do apologize if i i made this engine more powerful i mean yes you are looking for uh, the, the original engine but i told you there was no flat there are no flathead you know in automation but i hope that if, if they if they will make it really if, if the if the developers put the flat heads in the in the game i will do this video correctly as soon as really possible maybe maybe immediately i mean can you imagine opening automation and find out that now it support it can support flat head engines it will be amazing because I, i'm really looking for to do a flat head v8 oh, it will be absolutely brutal so thank you so much guys for watching, if you enjoyed the video please let me see those likes, hit the thumbs up, hit the like button, hit it hard, and of course get subscribed to my channel if you are new, share the video if you want to share it, and to request the, any video you want, go to my Patreon page, I'm gonna put the link in the description below, just press the link, it's free, don't worry, make an account using your Facebook or email or whatever, and write your request over there and I will make it as soon as possible, and I'm seeing right now a lot of comments on my previous videos by Mr. Charlie Anderson and a lot of cool guys. Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna close the video now and I'm gonna see you very very soon guys and start re replying to your awesome comments and I would like to hear your thoughts in the, in the comment section below. So thank you for watching and I'm gonna see you soon and goodbye for now my friends.